today I'll be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 5 from iOS 10.3.4 to iOS 8.4.1. This is a very simple tutorial. What you're going to need is either an Apple Silicon Mac or an Intel based Mac. And you're going to need your iPhone 5 on iOS 10.3.4. If you are on iOS 10.3.3, you're going to want to upgrade to iOS 10.3.4 and then come back to this video. So what you're going to need to do is go into Safari and go to this website in the description below. It'll take you to the GitHub page to download the Leap Down software. Scroll down until you see Leap Down. As you can see, the iOS 8.4.1 downgrade supports iPhone 5 and iPad 4. I'm mostly focusing on iPhone 5, um, and it does support Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. One thing to note is that virtual machines and Hackintosh systems do not work, so you cannot run this on a PC. Uh, so you're going to come over here and click on Latest Notarized Release. Click that, it will download to your downloads folder or wherever you have selected it to download. And then this second step is optional. You can download the .ipsw directly from this website or you can download it from the Leap Down application itself. I had to do it through the Leap Down application itself because this did not work for me the first time. But when I did the iPhone 5S, the IPSW, when I got it directly from this website, worked in place of the direct application way. So it's recommended to go with the application first. If that doesn't work, come over here to the IPSW.me, which will also be in the description below. I recommend going to the Identify My Device here, and you're going to want to input your model number of the iPhone 5 you have. Mine is a GSM, but yours could be a JSM or a global. Select uh, the iOS 8.4.1 IPSW by scrolling down. Select it here. And then you want to download it. And then download it to your desktop or your downloads folder. After that, you can go ahead and install the Leap Down application. So you'll see it in your downloads folder and you want to just double click on that and drag it to your applications folder. And it's very important that it does end up in your applications folder so it can access all the files needed. After that, you're going to want to open up Leap Down, plug in your device and trust it with iTunes. Now, what you're going to want to do is click on this blue need help entering DFU mode. Click that and then when you're ready click anywhere on the screen to start the instructions what you're gonna do is put this phone into DFU mode so hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds your screen will go black and then when it prompts you to release the power button you're gonna do that and keep on holding the home button for 10 additional seconds then your phone will be in DFU mode after that, you'll get two options, one saying choose IPSW or download IPSW. Again, I would go with the download IPSW first. If that does not work, then go with the choose IPSW, which you had already downloaded, and choose it, which it should be in whatever directory you had chosen. After doing that, you're going to be prompted with some SHSH blob uh, saving prompt. You want to just click on cancel or ignore. And then you're going to proceed with the uh, process of downgrading. Uh, iTunes may open up a couple times. Disregard that. Just click on cancel. If you have to trust the iPhone again, click trust. And you might also be prompted on the iPhone to trust the device. Do that. And your iPhone will go black and show a couple of random colors at times. That's part of the process. It's normal. Um, this process I actually had to do twice because it didn't work the first time. It would get stuck. But after some patience and rebooting my Mac and rebooting the application, 
it did go through the second time. So it may not work the first time around. So do be patient. Once it's all said and done, Leapdown will prompt you that it's done and iTunes may open, asking you to trust the device again. And your iPhone 5 should be in its normal state on iOS 8.4.1. So that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully it worked for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next time.